Hello learners. I hope your preparations for the CAT exam are going really very well. So today we will start with sentence correction. But before starting, let me ask you some questions. How much functional awareness do you have around structure of sentences? Or can you differentiate a correct sentence from a wrong one? Or can you look at a sentence and tell what's wrong from the functional point of view? So, what is needed in the sentence correction questions is how do you understand different parts of the sentence? So, let us start with sentence verb agreement. But first, we all need to know what type of questions are asked in the CAT exam. In each question, a sentence is given and a part of it is underlined. You have to choose the correct option that correct any errors or error, errors observed in the underlined fragment. So, a sentence would be given and a segment or a phrase would be underlined. You have to observe any errors and choose the correct option from the list given. Alright. But what is the number of questions asked in the CAT exam? There are around 2 to 3 questions from the sentence correction and completion questions. So let us quickly move on and start with our first topic. So first we need to know what the correct answer should be like. The correct answer should not have any errors. Like we just said, you have to observe the errors in the sentence and choose the right sentence from the given options. Also, it should not have any redundant information. What does this mean? That there should not be any information that is not useful. Alright. And third, not change the intended meaning of the sentence. You should not add or subtract any word which would change the meaning of the sentence. Right. Moving on. What is the strategy to approach the questions? First, read the sentence to look for errors. You have to carefully read the sentence. Find the incorrect options based on the observation elimination. If the options are given to you, you have to look for the options which would not be correct. Like it may be the option B and D are not appropriate and we would just cancel out them. Then we are left with option A and option C. We will look for which is the most appropriate one. Third, relook at the remaining options. This is what I just told you about. We will relook at the options left. Look for new errors, changed meanings, and redundancy. We just talked about the meanings or the redundancy, the redundancy or new errors. We just have to omit them and redo till you reach the correct answer or option given. So these are the steps to follow in finding the right option. So the first topic is sentence verb agreement. This topic forms the basis of your verbal ability. Right. Now, what is the structure of a sentence? Any sentence would have a subject plus a verb and the object. So, these three things are a must to be a sentence. Alright. Subject is the main point of the sentence. It could be a person, a place, a thing or an idea that is going to, that is doing or being something. Alright. Now, how do you identify a subject? Ask the main verb who or what. 
For example, he goes to the school daily. Now, who goes to the school daily? He goes to the school daily. So, what is he? He becomes our subject. They want to win the cricket match. Who wants to win the cricket match? They want to win the cricket match. So, they become our subject. The number of iPhone users in India is increasing very rapidly. Now, what is increasing? The number of iPhone users is increasing. So, when you are able to answer who or what, you get the subject of the sentence. I hope this is clear to you. Moving on. Subject verb agreement means that the verb must agree with its subject in number and person. We are doing subject verb agreement. So, this is what we are talking that verb must agree with its subject. The subject of the sentence may be a noun or a pronoun or a noun phrase. In other words, singular subject will take singular verb and plural subject will take plural verb. If the subject is he, what does, what does this mean? This is singular, right? This is singular. So, the verb, the verb will also be singular. That means the number or the person should agree. Alright. Now, note verb plus s. If you have a verb with a s or es is equal to singulars. And a noun plus s or es is equal to plural. Alright. This means that the s ending verbs are considered to be singular. Any verb which will have s is considered to be singular. Alright. So, we look at the examples now. He has lost his phone. He has lost his phone. So, who has lost his phone? He has lost his phone. And what is the verb? Has. Right. right. So, the verb which has a S is singular. So, has has an S. So, this is also singular. Alright. Playing with the kids is good fun. Playing is kids with is good fun. Alright. Now, is is singular. Playing. What is good fun? Playing is good fun. Playing is our subject. And the verb is is. So, this is also singular. The number of members who donated the blood is negligible. Now, what is negligible? The number. This becomes our subject. And the verb is also singular. So, this is very important to learn that the verbs ending with S are actually in the singular. Now, you might say that it is written here members. So, members is plural. So, the verb should also be plural. But, you have to match the subject with the verb and not the preposition with the verb. Now, what is a preposition or what is prepositional phase? It is a group of words that begin with a preposition. So, at times you might people confuse that you have to match the preposition with the verb. Or this sounds correct. But no, you have to be very careful. You have to match the subject with the verb. I hope this is clear to you all. Now, let us understand different structures for the subject-verb agreement. 
structure one is that sentences having conjunctions conjunctions basically join the sentences so let us move to the examples first the minister together with his fellow members was guarding the city so together with is our conjunction and the subject is minister so minister is singular and what will be the verb it will also be singular his parents along with anil are coming to the city tonight along with is what our conjunction and who are coming parents with anil so this becomes plural and r is our plural verb anil and his parents are coming to the city tonight anil and his parents right so this is also plural and the verb will also be plural the boys as well as the girls we are talking about boys and girls so this is also plural and r which is the verb will also be plural so the sentences which have conjunctions will also have the same agreement that if the subject is singular the verb will also be singular whereas when the subject is plural the verb will also be plural remember conjunctions like with along with together with as well as in addition to moreover will always refer to the first noun we will always refer the first noun when we have conjunctions like with along with together with as well as in addition to and moreover now next we talk about structure structure 2 that is nouns that look plural but are singular so there are some words that you might think are plural but they are actually singular like news news is an important medium of communication so news is what news is singular so we will use the verb singular mathematics mathematics is my favorite subject this is also singular measles is a bad disease measles is not plural but singular so we will use the verb which is singular rupees 5000 rupees is all i have this is singular rupees is singular so the verb will also be in the singular form all right so these words might look like they are plural but actually they are singular moving on to structure 3 that is using neither nor or either or here the important thing is that you have to consider the second noun as the subject we look at the examples and understand this concept first neither the king nor the ministers were going to the party we just talked that we will take the second noun as the subject so the subject here is plural so we will take the verb which is also plural either the wind or the waves make that sound waves is plural so the verb will also be plural now when we just talk about either or neither we are just talking about either or neither here we are not using or or nor we are just talking about either or neither so either and neither are the singular forms are the singular forms so with the singular subject we will use singular verb so either of these shirts is good enough for me neither of the sisters is traveling very simple that with 
the subject that is singular, we will use the verb that is singular. And neither or either are singular forms. Structure 4. Sentences starting with each, every, everyone, everybody, some, someone or none. So here we are talking about the words from which the sentence is starting. Now here you have to note that each is singular. So each of the girls sings well is the verb which is also singular. Every is also singular. So every boy had his share of the profits. Had is also the singular form of verb. Everyone or everybody. Everyone or everybody is also the singular form. So everybody in the class is missing. The verb is singular. Everyone has to contribute to the agenda is also the singular form. Now when we talk about some, some is plural. So some of the boats are missing. So R is a verb which is plural. Someone, someone is singular. So someone has been tilling the land. Verb is also singular. None. Now the special case is of none. None can be used both as singular or plural. It depends on the context. So now let us see some examples. None of the prisoners were arrested. Here it is plural. It is plural. So the verb used will also be plural. None of the information, information is singular. So the verb will also be singular. So here you have to understand that the words like each, every, everyone, everybody or someone are the words in the singular form. So the words use, so the verbs use also will be singular. Now some is plural. So the verb will also be plural. None can be used both as singular or plural. So it will depend on the context. I hope this is clear to you all. Now let us talk about structure 5 that is sentence with collective nouns. So a collective noun will always take a singular verb. It always takes a singular verb. For example, what are collective nouns like crowd, team, class, army, audience. These all are what? These all are collective nouns. So with this, with the collective nouns, we use singular verb. For example, the army is ready to attack the enemy. Army is a collective noun and is is the singular form of verb. The Indian cricket team has just arrived at the airport. So team is our collective noun and we have used the singular form of verb with this. I hope you are clear with this that with the collective nouns we use singular form of verb. Let's move on. The last structure is structure 6 that sentence with gerunds as subject. When gerunds are used as the subject of a sentence, they take the singular form of the verb. So this is also the same. Examples, standing in the car was a bad idea. Standing, when the sentence is starting from the, the word that is standing, we are also using the singular form of verb. Smoking is injurious to health. 
trekking is an adventurous sport cooking is fun dancing is my hobby so this is clear that with gerunds what do we use we use singular form of verb so here we are end with our six structures which we have learned you can pause the video go back and revise the six structures and then we will now solve some practice questions related to what we have just learned now the first question is from the beginners level it is that it is it was the daughter's concern not her shoutings that her brother to focus now the very first thing you have to note here is anything that is written between two commas is non essential information this has no relevance or it is not important so anything between two commas is not important now the question is whose concern it was it was the daughter's concern so we know the subject is in singular form it is daughter's concern so the verb here would also be in singular form now we just read in the starting that you have to ignore or you have to just cancel out the options which are not relevant so any verb here which is in the plural form has to be eliminated so what will we what we will eliminate is have they we have written here have here which this is this will also cancel out were is also in the plural form so this 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 cancels out has is singular form of verb so a is the correct option it was the daughter's concern not her shoutings that has motivated her brother to focus so very simple to understand the second question is of intermediate level let's just read it identify the sentences or parts of sentences that is correct in terms of grammar and usage including spelling punctuation and logical consistency then choose the most appropriate option so the first is a number of raj's friends is coming for the party now who are coming for the party friends are coming for the party so will we write the singular form of verb no we will not write the singular form of verb so this is not correct the employer and manager give motivation to the employees will we write give here by just reading only you can say that gives will come here so this is also the incorrect statement we got an error here neither my sisters nor my mother are going to send me to the boarding school now with neither or nor we see the second the second subject the second noun as the subject so will we write are here no we will write the singular form as mother is singular subject the singular verb will be is so this is also the incorrect statement the fourth one is my pants are torn this is a very simple statement and i cannot we cannot see any error here so this is the correct statement right so looking at the options 1 and 2 no we know they are not correct 1 and 4 no one is not correct 4 only definitely yes 1 and 3 no they both are incorrect so the right option is c i hope it is clear the next question is also from the intermediate level 
so from the four sentences identify the sentence that is correct in terms of grammar and usage the first one is passing disparaging comments on a colleague's integrity invites severe and equally intense backlash so now what are we talking about what are we talking about we are talking about comments right so on a colleague's integrity invites now when we talk about invites this is singular form of verb so with plural form with plural subject the verb should also be plural so this is not the correct option second many a bright boy has trained his sights on an it career okay so a bright boy we are talking about a boy has is singular form of verb boy is singular subject so yes this is correct 13 minutes time are needed to answer each question just we did talk about that time is singular form so we have to write the sub uh, the verb which is singular form so r is not required or r is incorrect here so this statement is also incorrect now this uh, last one is everyone of the girls likes to enroll for swimming classes everyone is singular right now likes to enroll for swimming classes so with singular you can say what the likes is likes is an absolute quantity yes absolute quantity which is singular this is important to know that like is an absolute quantity and is singular so with singular form with singular subject the verb is also singular so this is also correct we cannot see any error here so second and fourth are the correct sentences so the option would be the d option d option is correct as second and fourth are the correct statements so the right option is d i hope you are now clear that how the concepts we just learned can apply to the questions and these types of questions are somewhat asked in your cat exams let's move on to the moving on to the advanced level in the question there are four sentences identify the sentences that is the correct is or are correct in terms of grammar and usage so nothing that the price of oil and other fuel components a major factor in the cost structure of an airline have risen and will continue to rise the company management was pessimistic about their outlook for the upcoming quarter so now what are we talking about what are we talking about is the price price is the singular subject now a major factor in the cost of an airline have the verb is have now what is have have is let me write it here have is plural verb now do you think it is correct no it is definitely not because with singular subject the verb used is also singular so first we will cancel out the options which have the plural form that is have will will not come will will not come 
So the only option left is C that is has risen and will continue to rise. The company management was pessimistic about their outlook for the upcoming quarter. So this is the way by which you solve the questions. You are now very clear with the concepts that the subject here is singular. So the verb used will also be in the singular form. The next and the last question for today is the four sentences here. Consumption of bread products made from ergot infected grains often trigger severely debilitating symptoms such as muscle contractions, seizures, and gangrene, but a proper dose also cause a significant reduction in maternal bleeding after childbirth. So, what are we talking about? We are talking about the consumption of bread products. So, the subject here is singular. Infected grains often trigger severely debilitating symptoms. Now, trigger hair. The trigger hair or the verb hair is in the plural form. With the singular subject, we don't need a plural verb. We need a verb that is in the singular form. So first, we will cancel out all the verbs which don't have an S, which don't have an S. So often grains trigger, cancelled out. Often triggers severely, deliberated, cancelled out. Triggers here, option, trigger, cancelled out. So the correct option, option is the C option because we have the verb as the singular form. So with this, we are done with the first part of the sentence correction. That is the verb, the sentence verb agreement. All right. So we did the concepts, the structure and the questions related to the sentence verb agreement. Now, in the upcoming videos, we will be covering the other parts which are required for the sentence correction. Till then, you can go to our app or website where you will find all other topics which are needed for verbal ability. You can go have a look there. You can unlock all the logged videos with the Edirev Infinity package at less than rupees 80 per month. So, go watch the videos, clear your concept. Take the notes, take the chapter wise, topic wise tests, tests and ace your CAT exam. Thank you. See you in the upcoming videos.